Coming up on Ask the Tech Guy, what do you do with an iPad mini that won't boot? Stay tuned. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from the Twit LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy brought to you as always by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. I am your tech guy, Leo Laporte, and our question today from Brian. He writes in, I, my iPad mini lost power. He said, I couldn't find it for nine months. After nine months, I finally, I found it. I put it on the charger. I charged it all more than a day, and I, it won't start up. He says, I've done the two-button hard restart, you know, where you press the, what, the home button and the on-off button, and it, and it goes in a boot loop but that's a reset and then you get the little apple logo and then it starts up he says but i can't get past the little apple logo what do i do you need my friend a dfu and i know that sounds bad but it's not it's just the device firmware upgrade and it's actually what they would do if you brought this ipad mini into the apple store but you can do it yourself it's just complicated now the reason it's complicated is because different iDevices devices do it differently <laughs> <laughs> so you have an iPad mini, the old one. That means you have a home button. So I'm going to tell you the method for a home button. But I'm going to also refer you to an article on iMore. If you Google how to put the iPad into DFU mode on iMore.com, they have the instructions, and they're different depending on which iDevice you're using. But I'll tell you how to do this with any Apple device that has a home button, okay? So that's any model before in the iPhone 7, all the iPads with a home button. This even will work with an iPod Touch, okay? You're going to plug it in using the USB cable, your lightning cable plugged into a computer, Windows or Mac. And you're going to want to make sure iTunes is running. If you you don't have iTunes on the new Catalina, it, it, music will launch, okay? You want to make sure that's running. You're going to make sure your iPad is turned off. Now, if it's, if it's not off already, just press and hold the on-off button. I'm calling this the on-off button. It really is the screen on-off button doesn't actually turn the device off. In order to turn the device off, you need to press and hold it for three seconds. You'll see the slide to power off. Slide that. Now you're going to have a blank screen, a dark screen on your iPad mini. It's off. Next step, and this is the one that's complicated, and timing is tough. So we're going to put a little timer up on the screen so that you can follow along. And if, you, if it doesn't work, just do it again. Keep doing it until you get the right results. So the device is off. It's connected to your computer. iTunes is running. Press and hold the on-off button for three seconds. Three, two, one. Then press and hold the home button while still holding the on-off button for 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. If you see the uh, Apple logo, got to start over. Let go of the on-off button, but keep holding the home button for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. If you see plug into iTunes, you blew it. You got to do it all over again. But if the screen stays black, you're in DFU mode. In fact, iTunes should pop up an alert saying, hey, I see an iPad. I would like to restore it. Now, a word of warning. Anything that's on that iPad will be lost. So I hope you backed your iPad up. In fact, the best way to back up your iPad, your iPhone, any iDevice, is to hook it up via this USB cable and use iTunes or whatever they call it these days to back it up onto your computer. And very important, check the box that says encrypt backup. Provide it with a password. Don't forget the password. That'll mean nobody, not Apple, not anybody but you, can unencrypt that backup. It's the only way to really do a truly encrypted backup with an iPhone. And I think everybody should have a physical on hard drive backup of your iPhone using an encrypted uh, password like that. Now, iTunes will notice you've got an iPad. It'll say you want to restore. You say yes. If you need new firmware, I suspect you might. That's why it can't boot up. It will literally download it from Apple's servers and reinstall it. And in 99% of the cases, that will fix your iPad mini. It should be back, good to go. If you've got a backup at that point, you can restore and you'll be back to where you were. If it does not respond to this and you've done it all exactly right, you got the timing exactly right, 
then there's something else more serious is wrong. There's a hardware flaw. Now it is time for a trip to the Apple store. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's out of warranty, so um, you might have to you know, pay for a little fix, but uh, the Apple store will have to fix it. So that's the kind of weird, long, strange process for a DFU. What I just described uses the home button, so it'll only work with iDevices that have a home button, more modern iDevices. It's an even more complicated method, but again, you can find that at imore.com. They did a great job of documenting all the different ways that you can do a DFU. The DFU is your friend. If you've got a dead eye, only do this if you're willing to wipe all the data, but if you've got a dead eye device, it can bring almost all of them back to life. Brian, great question. Uh, I hope you get it all back up and running. That iPad mini is uh, is a vintage device, but a very valuable device. If you have a question for me, your tech guy, just email askthetechguy at twit.tv. I'd love to help you out. Our uh, show is always brought to you by LastPass, a personal password manager and identity solution for businesses that helps secure everywhere you work. You can share passwords or notes within LastPass to employees or family members. You can put all your personal private documents in there like passports, credit cards, driver's license, social security numbers. And now at work, LastPass offers passwordless login options for employees. That increases security and productivity. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how LastPass can help you. lastpass.com slash twit. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week on Ask the Tech Guy. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.